Hey guys, this is Epidemic Called Tutorials here. Today I'm going to teach you the basics of panning and cropping in Sony Vegas. So first of all, panning and, with panning and cropping you can eliminate black bars around your around your video, or you can and or you can also zoom zoom in, change um, your video's position, and panning and cropping is a great feature in Sony Vegas. So, so I'm going to teach you how. First of all, um, drag a clip from Explore or from your, or from your, or you can first um, import a clip or, or import one from Explore. Like here, um, I have a video of my turtle. And as you can see, there are black bars around the video. And and so with panning and cropping you can eliminate those black bars. So I'm gonna teach you what all this is. So this is um, the show and high test bar button. And this is just a normal edit tool where you can drag it around. And this is doom um, button which I, I don't know what you put it on because you can also zoom with the scrolling wheel on your mouse. And this, um, I don't really know what this is, but you have to do some experimenting. And the lock into access ratio that that makes sure that makes sure no matter um how many times you you zoom in on or change um the square on in pending cropping. This makes sure that. It stays the square of equal proportions. So let me show you this. You can see the square. It just gets bigger with equal proportions. But if you um, unclick this to make sure it's unhighlighted, and you do this, as you can see, um, the video becomes very unproportional. Um, so that makes sure that makes sure um, your video stays a square of equal proportions. And this, um, this button, it, it makes, um, like, let's say you only want to move the square up and, um, left, to the left or right. And so you just have to click, keep on clicking until you get this. As you can see, no matter how many, no matter where I move my mouse, I can only move it up to the left or right. And the same goes with, with this, like, if you only want to move it up and down, but you want to move it around. Really, you just need to click on on this. So you can see with panning and cropping you can also change the size of your video and position it somewhere around the around the movie screen and and that's it so and this um this um like it's the smoothness of your transition like like zooming in like um, I'm gonna show you here. This makes sure, this makes sure that um your video um is really really smooth. For the transition, and this um this maintains the aspect ratio, and it's pretty much self-explanatory. And the stretch to fill frame, that makes sure um like you can you can see a difference here. As you can see, if I move it, it cuts out part of the clip if I have this on no, but if I have this on yes, the clip um, will be normal, or it will have um, an aspect ratio of equal proportion. And this, um, the workspace, it just, um, it's just like your zoom and stuff, but you can pretty much do this with the mouse and the scrolling wheel on your, on your mouse. The grid spacing, um, that's the little dots right here, and I don't know why they put this here, like, it's really useless, if you ask me, um, uh, and with the, um, panning and cropping feature, you can also mask to, to mask out something, you know, like, let's say I don't want my turtle in this picture, I will go over masking with, 
with uh, much more detail in our tutorial. So as you can see, I eliminated him. And I could also choose the feather. And it's pretty much the basics of panning and cropping. With panning and cropping, you can also um, do my round. And, and then again, you can choose um, your aspect ratio to eliminate black bars. And and with this, let me just see you. Uh, and let's try keyframing this. Alright, let's test this out. As you can see with panning and cropping, you can zoom in. But you may have noticed that it's shaking. Well, that's not panning and cropping, but that's my camera. And so, this is the end of my tutorial. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And peace.